Good morning. Hey, good morning, folks and friends and family. Hope everybody's having a great Monday so far. Hi, Kimberly. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanks for joining me on this uh, <coughs> vocal scope this morning. How are you? Hi, hi, hi. Hi there, Tita. <laughs> Tita Dones. Mike, good morning. Hey, Jesse. Hello from Birmingham, England. Hello, Zara. You can't see. I know I don't have it turned around yet. I'm just waiting for everybody to jump in. Can y'all hear this awesome song? It's called Fresh Oil by Brandon Roberson. Good morning, Magali from Belgium. Cool. Hi from Deerfield Beach. I'm fantastic. Good morning from Georgia. It's good to see you guys jumping on this morning. And good morning to all of the replay viewers. Appreciate you guys clicking and jumping on. Hey, feel free to go ahead and share with your friends and uh, fellow singers. Good morning from the river. <laughs> Good morning from the river. Um, so feel free to go ahead and share with your uh, friends here present. Uh, and uh, just as we're going throughout this scope today, if you could go ahead and add some hearts, tap on the screen just to let me know that you're understanding and following everything that I'm sing saying and sharing with you today. So just giving a couple, some more folks, some couple more minutes to, to jump in and log on. Good morning. Hi, Asharice. Is that Asharice Henderson? Hi, love. <laughs> um, yeah, really great song. We uh, sang this song <clears throat> yesterday. Uh, Dr. Pat Bailey was with us and uh, just Sharice got it. Um, and uh, this song was just so powerful. When do I do my next workshop? Actually, the next workshop, the next WLA Summit, is going to be next Saturday morning, uh, the 27th. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what that is. Yep, this coming Saturday. And, oh, I just saw Ed that logged on as well. So, um, Ed is my music director, um, producer as well. And he is going to... Um, have a scope actually later on so if anybody has some pr production questions and all of you know things that are band related good morning from North Her North Carolina um, he's going to be on later so um, him and uh, Kim Lowry they're going to be posting some links and things like that for you guys to to catch so all right there's quite a few folks on here so I'm going to turn it around and say good morning good morning 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 <coughs> hope you guys are ready so uh, did you all, that is the link right there. If you go to LaRueLive.Eventbrite.com to register for the upcoming Worship Leaders Association uh, Summit that we'll be having this coming Saturday. Love for you to join us. We'll be having, um, oh, I've got toast on my face, almond butter on my face. Mm, I should have checked that before I turned the scope around. <laughs> um but yeah, so we'll be having a lead vocal and background vocal class as well as uh, dance and um, songwriting. And Ed will be scoping live um, from WLA as well. So uh, he'll put that link back up. Either him or Kim will put that link up and uh, you'll get it and be able to uh, and you'll be able to um, register there. OK, man, I just had a quick thought. Yeah, I hope that I am. Hmm. I'll go back, go back and check it later. So at any rate, um, I, I, I want to pray before we get started. Um, these scopes are very much um, Holy Spirit directed and um, God inspired. And so I just want to acknowledge him. So Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. This is the day that you have made and we rejoice and we're glad in it. God, we just present this time to you, Lord. We just ask that you would um, that you would just continue to breathe on it, Lord God, and that everyone that's supposed to be here is here and that they will learn and gain wisdom and knowledge. And even myself, God, I don't profess to know everything, but um, let us all learn something new today, God, that maybe we didn't know before. And so we thank you. We give you glory and honor and praise because it belongs only to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Tap some hearts for amen. 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 There you go. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, the reason why I wanted to do uh, these scopes is because we, we have to make sure that we as singers or teachers or speakers 
um, that we are having, uh, we're doing the best that we can to have um, lifelong healthy singing, lifelong healthy use of our vocal cords. You know, I always like to joke and say, we only have one pair. <laughs> we only have one pair of vocal cords. And so we have to take care of them. You know, like musicians, they can take their instruments to, you know, drums to go or guitar center or, you know, get the keyboard, the piano tuned up. We can't do that with our vocal cords. And so that's our instrument. And we use our instrument 24 hours a day. We're always talking. We're always communicating with our voice using our vocal cords. And so, um, you know, we have to be intentional about taking care of it. Good morning. I am so excited about connecting with you, Azania. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correct. Um, but Azania, you guys, I'm going to share with you um, probably in about a week that uh, I'm going to be jumping on a blab scope i think it's um that's what it's called with her and two other um vocal coaches lasagna azania okay very cool <laughs> azania and so we are going to um we're going to do a four-way vocal scope and i'm so so excited about that but um so the other thing is make sure that you are connected on my email list which if you're not on my email list if you go to my facebook.com forward slash larue live link you can click on the button that says sign up and then I'll send you uh, an email as to when that vocal scope will take take place or that vocal blab scope so yeah right there for uh, facebook.com forward slash LaRue live um, blab scope yeah it's like a, a group scope where more than one person can periscope at one time. I've never tried it before, but Azania, yep, Azania, she just um, posted that blab I am. And so that's where we're going to be um, March 5th. But I'm going to give you more information about that. I know I didn't tell you yet because it's it's just, we're just, just started um, talking about it. So I'm really, really excited about it. Um, but at any rate, <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we are promoting lifelong healthy singing. And, um, you know, so you might hear me say that a lot, a lot, you know, lifelong healthy singing, lifelong healthy singing. So that's why we, we t we're talking about um, vocal care, warm ups and just anything that is going to promote um Anything that's going to promote uh, your, your health, vocal health. Um, WLA this Saturday is going to be at um, the Ampersand School in Castleberry, Oviedo. Um, it's, yep, yeah, that's where it's going to be. Um, so, you know, one of the biggest things that I really tend to focus on with these vocal scopes are warm ups. Um, and I do that because I know a lot of people who are really like church singers or gospel singers or praise and worship, you know, we sing in church all the time. We don't do anything, no kind of warm up, warm up, you know, and if we do, it's like a, you know, just something that we heard somebody else doing. So I really want to help you be effective with your warm ups and be effective with your, um, with, uh, with, with preparing to sing. So why do we sing? Why do we warm up? I'm sorry. Why do we do warm ups? We warm up. Well, you tell me, text, you text me, type in and tell me some of the reasons why you think it's good to, uh, to warm up your voice. And the hearts have ceased <laughs> because you're typing, right? Yeah, that's why. To prepare your vocal cords, mm -hmm, to loosen them, to relax them. Yeah. So we don't damage our vocal cords. Yeah. You know, just like an athlete. Um, absolutely. Just like an athlete, you know, has to stretch before they get out and start running or before they start playing or before they, you know, do whatever their sport is, they have to, because our cores are dry. <laughs> yeah. You have to hydrate. Yeah, they're tight. Oh, tight. Right. That's right. Um, so, you know, athletes, they have to stretch. They have to warm up. Um, absolutely. To before they start playing. And so the same thing with singers, the same way with teachers and speakers to increase your range. All of that. All of those are excellent um, answers. So you want to make sure that you are warming up properly your muscle, because that's what it is, your vocal um, vocal mechanism. The whole thing that, that creates or produces sound, that little area in your throat that produces sound is your vocal mechanism. And so you have to warm it up um, to to be able to use it effectively. Now, I've seen uh, Kim talk. She mentioned hydrate and water. Um, you, you, you really want to realize and understand that 
you have to hydrate today for tomorrow. You want to start drinking water. And actually, I wrote down, wrote that down. Hydrate today for tomorrow. You know, if you do dairy, you just have to know your body and know how, um, you know, how your body responds to dairy. Um, generally speaking, you should avoid dairy uh, before you sing because it just adds excess coating and mucus on your vocal cords. And so, you know, the other part of warming up is when you have been asleep for eight hours, six hours, four hours, um, you, you've, you know, you've got just junk that have been sitting on your cords all night. And so you want to, when you warm up your vocal cords, it moves that stuff out of the way. If you drink, um, coffee or something with cream or cheese, or like I just had uh, almond butter toast, <laughs> it's going to add additional coating onto your vocal cords that, um, you know, you, you have to work to get that out of the way. Um, and when you're drinking water, uh, the day of the, the time that you're singing, when you're drinking water, thank y'all so much for these hearts. I appreciate them. Um, when you're drinking water the day of, that is only for current uh, or present discomfort. You know, you're singing, you're singing, you're singing. Like right now, my mouth is dry, you know, or it's not dry, but I just, I want some water. And so, mm -hmm. So you drink water to ease the current discomfort. You use a throat spray to ease the current discomfort. You pop in a throat lozenge or, you know, a throat drop to ease the current discomfort. And yeah, generally room temperature um, because you, um, you know, if you've, if you've already warmed up your voice, you've already warmed it up, you know, and you put cold on top of that, then it just, you know, causes those, that muscle to just constrict again, you know, so you want to stay with a, a room temperature water, especially if you're planning on um, singing and you've already done some warm ups. Now you saw me take a drink of water and I kind of swished it around in my mouth a little bit. That's just habit um, to warm up the water before I swallow it and to get back to get it on to my throat. So that's another, you know, little tip that if you have water that's really, really, really cold, instead of just gulping it down, gulping it down, swish it around in your mouth a little bit, let it get warm a little and then you swallow. OK, I hope that that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, just remember that you want to hydrate today for tomorrow. So if you're planning on singing tomorrow or you're planning on singing Wednesday, the water to, that you drink today hydrates your vocal cords. OK, so you're not drinking water right now to hydrate your vocal cords. It's going to hydrate every other major organ in your body first and then the hydration will get to your vocal cords. OK, does that make sense? Yes. Yes. I'm seeing a whole bunch of different color hearts, which is really cool. And that lets me know that you're following me. So, all right. So we've talked about the purpose of warming up and, excuse me. Um, you know, we talked about the, the, un the understanding that when you stretch or before you, you know, perform or before you sing that you've got to stretch that muscle. You want to stretch that vocal mechanism. Um, in addition to stretching your voice, you want to also stretch your entire body because I've said before, singing is a full body sport. You know, um, you use your body, your entire body to support good singing and deep breathing, which is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about, um, Good, effective, deep breathing, um, because br the breath is the foundation of good, effective singing. So you don't want to just, you know, start singing and doing vocal warm ups with your body tense and, you know, everything is tight. So I like to start with a full body stretch and I'm going to stand up. So excuse me. <laughs> Hi, babe. Okay, he's over there. So this is what we're doing. So if you're at home or you're at a place where you can stand up and do this with me, if not, then just make a note and do this later, you know, tomorrow whenever you're getting ready to. But so stretch, I like to put my feet just shoulder width apart. You can't see my feet, but it's okay. They're feet with socks on. <laughs> um, so stretch, stretch up and then stretch over to your this way <laughs> and just feel that stretch don't bounce just get a good stretch all the way down the side of your body here <clears throat> yeah and stretch over to your left <laughs> mike is in my choir and um every time we do these i'm all because you know we're opposite 
So I say right, but it's your left. So that's why I just say you're this way. Ah, praise God. Thank you so much. So let's stretch back over one more way. This way. Just to stretch the sides. Get those, get those muscles relaxed. Good. Bring your arms down. And if you can, I'm going to disappear for a second and bend down and try to touch your toes if you can. Stretch the back of your legs. Feel that don't bounce. Just stretch. And while you're over, while you're bending down, try to take a deep breath in. And as you're inhaling, can y'all see a little bit? No. As you're inhaling, God bless you. Thank you. Um, as you're inhaling, feel the bottom part of your back expand. What are you doing, Kim? You're stretching. <laughs> feel the bottom part of your back expand. So what? I'm stretching. Can I not stretch? Is this not good? <laughs> um, so you're you're bending over and then feel the bottom as you're taking a breath in feel the bottom part of your oh that was your mom <laughs> oh and his mom is on here hi mom his real mom <laughs> okay um, so feel the bottom part of your back expand as you're taking that deep breath in and then and now let that breath out and let's just slowly roll up letting your arms hang and Roll your shoulders back, roll your shoulders back, roll your shoulders back. Hi, this is Justin from Ghost. Hey, man, what's up? Lady Rhonda, I love you wow, so much. We are stretching, Kim. <laughs> so uh, roll your shoulders forward. Now we're stretching our shoulders. We're relaxing our shoulders, like I was saying before, because we want to make sure that your body is relaxed. Singing, you know, is a full body uh, sport and so you you have to use your body to support good breathing to support good healthy singing um, so that's what we're doing okay all right one more thing stretch your head over this way just to stretch these neck muscles and take a couple of deep breaths in as you're doing that <clears throat> those are those links that you can go to to sign up for my email list at my facebook.com forward slash LaRue Live. To jump on my email list because I'm telling you, you're going to get some information on the email list that you're not going to receive on social media. That's my Rue Crew list right there. So let's turn your head to the left and right. Not back. We don't want to stretch that way, but just left and right. Yeah. Cool. Roll your shoulders back one more time. Sweet. You should be good and relaxed now. Some of you probably haven't stretched like that in ages. Long time. All right. So let's talk about some deep breathing now. Let's see if I can get you back without the sun. I guess the sun has moved there. Um, so now let's talk about some deep breathing. Um, breathing, as I said before, is the foundation for good, healthy singing is a foundation for effective singing. Um, so let's do this. When you take a breath in, you know, have you ever, you've, you've probably heard people say, breathe from your diaphragm, breathe from your stomach, you know, all, things of that nature. Um, but a lot of times we don't know what that means. So when you take a breath in, when you inhale, your abdomen should expand. And when you exhale, your abdomen should go in so it's kind of like a balloon that when you put air into into the balloon the balloon does what it expands right and then when you let the air out of the balloon the balloon collapses so that's kind of the same thing that happens with your body um hi there i um i pulled up some pictures from um pinterest which i love pinterest um, because it's just it has so much information and uh, so this is, I grabbed this this picture here. Can y'all see that okay? It's probably coming, trying to focus. Uh, let's see. At any rate. So let me, let me just tell you. So these are your lungs, right? Those are your lungs. And when you put breath into your body, you're not putting breath or air into your stomach, <laughs> right? You're putting air into your lungs. You're filling up your lungs. Well, that pink pinkish area right up under that is actually your diaphragm and so what happens your diaphragm drops down as the air is filling in 
and then as the air goes out of your lungs, it pushes back up. So in, I'm going to show you a video in just a second um, that as the air comes into your lungs, the diaphragm comes down, your abs, um, your abs or your stomach muscles kind of move out of the way. And then it um, it moves back up as the air is going out of the lungs. OK, so I wanted to give you um, just a visual um, to help understand that. Now, this is a picture of a guy. He's laying on the floor. And this is something that, something that you can do to practice to just kind of understand the sensation of inhaling and exhaling. So you see he's lying flat on the floor. So my shoulder should not go up. That's correct. So and that's why we did the, the, the stretching of the shoulders, because I didn't I wanted you to understand that your shoulders should be relaxed and not moving at all. Your chest will raise some will rise because that's where your lung, you know, your lungs are in that chest area, but your shoulders, you know, a lot of times we get in the gospel choir or big choir and we're singing big and you take those quick breaths and, you know, you just moving those shoulders and it's not doing anything at all, but causing tension, excuse me. And so, um, so this guy, he's laying on the floor and it says inhale here. And as he's inhaling, his stomach is rising, Right. And as he's exhaling, his stomach is going in. Do you see that? Y'all following that? Does that make sense? And you are probably trying that right now, which actually I'm going to turn this camera around and uh, let's try it again. If you can stand up right where you are, let's do that. And let's put your hands, put your hands on your belly this way. If you can touch your your fingers, that's cool. You know, if you can touch your touch your hands together, that's that's cool. If you can, it's okay. Just get them as close as you can. If not, you know. So when you take your deep breath, did you see how my hands just moved? So when you take your breath in, remember your feet are still shoulder width apart. Yay! Remember your feet are still shoulder width apart, and when you inhale, you can feel your hands separating. And then it, they come back together, right? Because the diaphragm is going down when you're taking your breath in and holding it, right? So you're trying this. Now I see somebody's just tapping those hearts away, tapping, tapping, tapping. Stop tapping for a second and do this um, exercise. <laughs> okay stop stop tapping the hearts and put your hands on unless unless you're at work or you can't stand up and you're doing that <laughs> all right if you've done it and then you and it makes sense to you now you can tap and give put some hearts on there okay different colors yeah big difference right so let's do a couple of exercises um let's do an, an inhale we're going to inhale for four counts and then I want you to do a fast exhale. So it's going to be one, two. Well, let me stop first. I'm going to give you four to just kind of let all the breath out, get all the wind out. And then you'll inhale for four counts. And then a fast exhale that will just be like a whoosh. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. So one, two, three, four. And then inhale, two, three, four. And then Okay. So here we go. One, two, three. Inhale. One, two, three three, four, and push that breath out. Okay. Try it one more time. Remember four counts to cleanse at work, doing it while sitting. Very good, Kim. Okay. So you remember four counts to cleanse and to let all the breath out, four counts to inhale and then push it out fast. Okay. So one, two, three, inhale, one, two, three, and squeeze, push it out. Good. Now, what we're doing here is we're just getting an understanding of the sensation of proper deep breathing. Okay. When you, when they say take a deep breath, that's what you should be feeling. Yesterday, um, I sang at an event after church and, you know, I was tired vocally. And so I had to really, really work on focusing, you know, my, 
my placement and my tones, do you have your praise team do this on Sundays? Um, I don't, but a lot of them are on these scopes and we talk about um, warm ups and things during rehearsal Thursday nights. And um, so I hope <laughs> I know several of them do warm up on their way coming to church because by the time we get there, they have to already be warmed up because we're doing a sound check at that time. Um, so a lot of them have started applying it to their um, to their routine. I know Kim um, is on here uh, and she has I can tell a difference in her singing um, since doing the uh, warm ups. Right, Kim, you've you've been doing some warm ups and things and and taking better care of your voice. Can you maybe yeah, time to crunch on Sunday mornings. We don't have time for um, so they, they have to, you know, take responsibility for their own area of ministry, for their own voice um, and warm up on their way coming to church or warm up. And, and also, you know, I do a, a seven minute vocal warm up um, around 730 uh, Sunday mornings, those little trills, those lip trills. Yeah, that's what she does. Um, so, you know, feel free if you want to join me. I'm usually in my bathroom taking out my hair or putting on makeup, <laughs> um, doing my warm ups. So, um, but for seven minutes, I jump on here and share some warm ups as well. So, um, but Kim, can you maybe share just a little bit? Yeah. So she does her lip trills in the car. So, you know, um, <clears throat> So to answer your question, no, we don't do them there, but they, they've they learned them um, and do them on their own. OK. All right. So that is uh, do you have any questions about the breathing, the deep breathing? Does that does, does that kind of make sense for you? That's, you know, when you're when you're starting to warm up in the morning, that's one of the things that you can, uh, you know, that you want to do first is practice some deep breathing, um, because as you are then going to your vocal warm-ups where you're humming and doing lip trills, which we'll talk about that on another day. Um, you know, it, it is, that's the type of breathing that you should use to prepare for, um, for the next breath or for the next thing that you're singing. Okay. Um, let me show you a couple more pictures. The latter things where the notes start low and go up. Uh, where the notes start low, not the lip trills. You're talking, taking responsibility. No questions. Okay, good. Well, then let's keep moving. Um, let me show you this other picture um, of the diagram. Diaphragm here. You're fine, Kim. I got you. The latter thing, the where we do the ba da da uh, uh hums. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're talking about, Ken? At any rate, in between each um, breath or in between each thing that you're each warm up, you want to be uh, remember that this is this is your your foundation, your breathing. Uh, OK, so this is another picture uh, here. You've got uh, your ribs, your lungs are protected by the ribs. And that little line right there is your sorry, that little line right there is your diagram diaphragm. Yay, you know, feel free to share it. Please do. Um, but that is your diaphragm. And so, uh, you know, when you're breathing in, it says here, breathing in, the diaphragm moves down, the, the ribs and the lungs expand, the chest expands. That's when you're breathing in. And then when you're breathing out, um, <clears throat> the diaphragm, diaphragm, I keep saying diaphragm, the diaphragm goes up, your, your abs go in, your chest contracts, okay? All right, and here's another picture. Another picture here. Knowledge is power, y'all. <laughs> um, so again, the diaphragm is here. When you're inhaling, the diaphragm goes down. Your chest contract. Um, I'm sorry, your chest and your your stomach moves out. And when you're exhaling, your your diaphragm moves back up, and your chest and your tummy goes back in. Okay. Um, that's the last one. Let me get over to this video because I just found this video this morning that I thought was really, really cool. Um, oh, here it is. Now, don't be alarmed. It is, a, it's a, hi, it is a, um, it is a computer generated man. Okay. So don't be alarmed. Hi, Claudia. All right, let's see. 
Let me get the volume turned up. It's a man. He has clothes on. He just doesn't have on a shirt. And it's a computer generated. And I just wanted you to see this. So, okay, here we go. Your lungs expand to bring in life's essential gas, oxygen, from the air. Expanded lungs naturally contract to expel the body's waste gas, carbon dioxide. Your lungs usually expand and contract in two main ways. Do you see how his stomach One is going? One is an on? unconscious downward and upward movement of a thin muscle called the diaphragm, mm -hmm. which separates the chest from the belly. See the diaphragm there? The other way is by raising or lowering the ribs to increase or decrease the volume of the chest cavity. We breathe in or inhale when the diaphragm contracts. You see that? This pulls the lower part of the lungs downward. When we breathe out or exhale, the diaphragm and lungs relax and return to their resting positions. Quiet, deep belly breathing is a more consciously controlled <coughs> breathing that, with practice, can become the standard way you breathe. Deep belly breathing aids the diaphragm muscle movement by expanding and contracting the abdomen, the area below the diaphragm. This allows the belly muscles to push stomach and diaphragm up, which forces out more carbon dioxide waste. Isn't that cool? Such a cool video. And I just found it today. I tell you, Lord, God is good. It's so, so, so good because he gives you everything that you need. Um, where can I get this? It is on YouTube and it's called The Benefits of Deep Breathing. Let me do that for you real quick. The Benefits of Deep Breathing. Right? It was so cool. And actually, I tell you what, it's on YouTube. It's called The Benefits of Deep Breathing. And if you want, um, if you get on my on my um, email list, I'll go ahead and email this out um, today. I'll send that, send that out, um, this video to you. Um, so the email list sign up is um, facebook.com forward slash LaRue Live. And there's a button on there that says sign up. And so you can uh, sign up there and then I'll, I'll uh, send that today. Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's see. It's 11 o'clock. I'm going to pause here because I know I've given you a lot of information. Um, but one of the, you know, things to, to think about, and we talked about that. Oh, I, I didn't. You asked about... Uh, Rashina, you asked about, I saw it, but then I didn't get to like focus on it. Can you type it again? I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, deep breathing also helps you with placement of your voice. So as you learn to, to get, get a handle on your deep breathing and full belly breathing, it will prepare you for a, a good placement, um, which, which deals with resonance and um, volume and having good qu tone quality of your voice. Um, that's, that's, so, you know, having a good full breath helps to prepare for a proper placement, um, for your singing. Uh, I'm waiting. I was waiting for Brashina to ask her question again, cause I missed it. I'm sorry. Uh, but in the meantime, I will be back on Wednesday. I try to be on Wednesdays. Wednesdays are tough. Um, I've been up late and my vocals are a little hoarse. Is there, is the only room? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I mean, feel my range and power increasing. Good stuff, Mike. Um, Rashina, yeah, you know, when you are hoarse and you've been up late and tired, I'm telling you, rest is the best thing for recovering your vocal cords. You got to rest. You have to rest them. Um, there's, there's really no quick, quick fix for that. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. I, I appreciate the encouragement because sometimes I don't, you know, I may not get to do it or I, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, cause, um, just, you know, mommy stuff and just getting up and getting ready. Sometimes I'm running behind, but when, when I, when you, when you guys tell me that you're enjoying it or you're giving the hearts, then it lets me know that I got to do it because you're waiting for me. Right. <clears throat> So just like the, the whole earth is groaning, waiting for the sons of God to be revealed. <laughs> you guys are going to be waiting for me to do these warm ups. Um, 
but you have to rest them. That's, uh, that's really the best thing, you know, drink a lot of water and it, as much as you can. Rest doesn't mean sleeping. You said even not to talk. Yeah, vocal rest. I need to work on my breathing. Feel like I'm running out of breath too soon. As I, yeah, you got to stretch those muscles. You got to stretch those muscles, you know, and don't talk about, I tell you, getting older is not for the weak. It, you got to, yo, what's up? New kid swag. What's up? Thanks, man. <laughs> um, how do you breathe the right way while singing? Not sure if it's a good question. That's an excellent question. Jesse, have you been on the whole time? Because that's what we focused on um, today was was breathing, um, which, you know, we just talked today about foundation and just how to deep breathe. How do you apply that when you're singing is a whole nother. Um, you're dope. Can you follow me back? I will follow you back. Mm. New kids swag. All right. Kenny Matthews. <laughs> the exercise made my nose hurt and you suffer. Um, sinus sufferers. I don't have a sinus issue, but what I can do is um, I would recommend you highly uh, to get. Um, I mean, the only thing that I would I can really think about is uh, essential oils. Uh, I'm a huge fan of, of essential oils and using a diffuser or a humidifier um, to help loosen up the pressure uh, in your sinuses. And I don't really know how that works because I don't have, okay, so a humidifier, uh, a, she's probably, yeah, thank you. See, I don't, I learned something new today. I told y'all I don't have all the answers, but see, we're building this community of support. The Rue Crew, right? That's what we're doing. Um, so we can help each other out. Um, so a, a humidity, a humidifier is great. doTERRA oils. I'm a Young Living fan. So any type of essential oils are just off the charts, uh, which if you want any information on uh, essential oils, email me. Uh, you can email me at info at LaRueMinistries.com. And uh, I'd love to give you some information on that as well. Um, I think my Young Living profile number is in my bio here on um, Periscope. But uh, I think that's all that I have for you guys for today. Uh, I, again, I appreciate your help. Can you talk about the benefits of Thieves Spray? Listen, oh, Thieves Spray. What do you do with oils? You can you can use essential oils for everything from cooking to diffusing to applying them um, topically to um, taking them internally. The, the, the Young Living essential oils. Listen, Kim, just support me. Don't, <laughs> um, but Young Living is just, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, essential oils, um, therapeutic grade are amazing and they just can help change your life. So um, you can inbox me though. My e The email was up there, info at LaRueMinistries.com and then I can give you some info on that. The Thieves Spray. So I'm really fiending right now because um, Thieves Spray Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you, Michael. Um, Thieves spray is a, it's a, it's a spray. It's an antibacterial spray actually that, uh, you can use from anything from cleaning your countertops to cleaning your hands because it's antibacterial. It's based, uh, with thieves essential oils, which is a blend of, um, cinnamon cloves, um, <laughs> cinnamon cloves, um, lemon, rosemary, lots of different um, essential oils that blend together that makes it antibacterial. But because of the, yep, thieves, just like you going a thief in the night. That's right. Thief in the night spray. Um, but you can, because of the cloves and the cinnamon that's in there, when you spray it, use it as a throat spray, it um, is, it numbs any type of pain that you have and it clears out all the extra mucus that you might have there. I absolutely love it. And I said, I'm fiending for it right now because, um, I sang, I did a show at, um, cause I, y'all know I sub at, um, Lion King. doTERRA has it too, but they call it something different. Yeah. doTERRA and, and young living, they kind of do the same thing, but you know, they're different companies. So they call them different things. If you need it, you can go to LaRueLive.com. LaRueLive.com. I have it. Um, I have some in stock because I bought extra. I just got to find them. They're here somewhere. 
on guard. That's what it's called through uh, doTERRA. But I have some here. Um, and so I, I sang at, did a show at, at Disney this weekend. And my, one of the girls that was singing there, she, um, really, LaRueLive.com. Yeah. Um, she, uh, loved the throat spray so much. I gave her my bottle and it was my bottle. And so I don't have a bottle. So, you know, there are two couple other singers at, um, Kim, can you separate? Because all of them are running together. They're all of those um, links are all running together. Can you separate them? Um, but I gave her my bottle. And so I, uh, I now I don't have. So there are two singers of the choir that have it that yesterday. I was just like, can I can I get a squirt? Can I get a spray? You know, can I have some of your spray? And so. Um, so, yeah, I got to find my bottles that are here because it's like it's life changing. It, it's lovely. It's wonderful. Yeah. So Facebook.com is where you can go to sign up for my email list. Remember, I'm going to send you that video today uh, on the email. Um, and then LaRueLive.com is where you can go to the store and you can buy or order the um, the Thieves Spray. And I'll send that out to you. And LaRueLive.Eventbrite.com is where you can go to sign up, register for WLA, which is this coming Saturday if you are in Orlando. Um, yeah. All righty. Okay, guys, this was so much fun. I really, really appreciate you today. Um, I got to get off now. Uh, I have a phone call uh, at 1130, I think. I'll be ordering mine. Can you follow me back? Love your ministry. Absolutely born Levite. I will do that. Son of the living God. Amen. Yep, it is this Saturday. Rasheen, are you coming so I can meet you and see your face in real life? <laughs> You are welcome so much. Um, yeah, and you know, feel free to share these scopes with with your folks. Um, I'm going to uh, be adding these awesome stuff. I'm going to uh, be adding these videos onto my uh, my new website that I'll have out soon, so that way you'll be able to catch them uh, at the replays um, after they're gone off of Periscope. So. Can I, for the first time last, I can for, oh, yay, good, good, good. I can for the first time last, time. okay, yeah, and that's Edge Music, follow Ed, um, he is my music director, my music producer, musical, music brother, um, he's going to be um, scoping later on today to answer any all things production um, music band related so if you have if you have musician friends or um, if you're interested in doing a new project or you know anything that's just production related he's going to be on yep he's going to be on periscope later today so um ed do you want to maybe type up what you're going to be focusing on today on your scope i know he's been talking about building um tracks and um we a uh, stem building stems and all of that good stuff he's in production mode today oh boy ed uh actually for those of you a couple people said that they love the great i am uh arrangement that's ed anderson who uh produced that that arrangement so just great guy anointed loves god and uh you know, it's 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 awesome when you have someone on your team that can see the vision that God has given you. And um, I'll be working on a track for a single for an artist. Very cool. Yep. So he's that guy, but someone who can, you know, just continue to add fuel to the fire. And he um, he does it. Do you write? You can give him a song if you know, if you already have an idea. And I'm telling you, he can turn a turn something to make some beauty out of some dirt. <laughs> I played that song on Scope and shared it with you. Very cool. Yeah, he um he does write some. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You've got a song that, that we demo. Well we need to demo. We need to finish you we wrote it, but now we need to demo it. We need to get that. So all right guys. Well listen, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of the day and uh We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for the hearts. Thank you for sharing. Yay. And I will, uh, again, try to see you Wednesday evening before uh, church. Usually I'm gathering the kiddos and 
my husband and getting dinner and running to church. So hope to see you guys. All right. Thanks for joining in. And uh, I love you. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Hi, Dolly. Wait, is that my sister from Curacao? Girl. Hi. Okay. I love you guys. We'll, we'll, oh, am I still at Faith World? No, I'm no longer at Faith World. Um, I haven't been there since 2010. So it's been a little while. I'm, I'm at the River of Life, River of Life Christian Center. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. We'll see you soon. Bye.